Drake v. Wichita State. That was a weird game. Great, but weird. At one point, Drake went nearly 10 minutes in the first half without scoring. With less than four minutes to go in the first half, they had 11 points. They had played more than 16 minutes, and they had just 11 points. In other words, not good. Below not good. Then, Joseph Yesafu went to work. You know you're not keeping that guy down for long. He hits a jumper, then a teammate has a bucket, and then Yesafu had a steal and this dunk. Yesafu is not a big man. He's listed at six feet. Yet this guy just threw down like DeAndre Jordan on Brandon Knight. Elevation, cocked the arm, threw it down with authority. Awesome. I feel pretty badly for Wichita State's Clarence Jackson because he did the smart thing. He did the courageous, the courageous thing. He tried to contest the dunk. Could have bailed. Could have bailed, but instead tried to man up, and now he's going to go down in history as that guy. If people were still into posters, he'd be on a poster. I guess that was an NFT job. Y'all into NFTs. We haven't covered that yet. Anyway, it's rare. It's rare that you see a moment in real time, and then you know it's immediately going to live on in forever, eternity, for all times, I mean, because that's how that's going to go. That's going to live on, and there's a lock that that's going to make one shining moment. And we may already have had the best dunk in the entire tournament, and we're only a game and a half in. And if that's not the best dunk of the tournament, I can't wait to see what will be. How do you top that? How do you top a six-footer elevating like that on the break and throwing down on a dude? I mean, is somebody going to jump over a car? I know it won't be old man Blake Griffin. That dude can barely get off the bench. I know he can't get off the ground. Is somebody going to go D. Brown with a no-look dunk? Is somebody going to borrow Cedric Sabalo's blindfold from back in the day? That dunk was that good. And that dunk plus a three from him right before halftime pulled Drake to within one. But then for reasons unknown, Drake decides to nap it out again in the second half. Then they go nearly six more minutes without scoring. And they fall behind big again. So if you're tracking this thing at home, they had a scoreless run of nearly 10 minutes in the first half and then a scoreless run of nearly six minutes in the second half. That's more than 15 minutes without scoring in a 40-minute game. Normally you do that, you're going to get blown the hell out. That's how you make yourself one and done in the tournament and then end up with a lifetime filled with, with regret. Not Drake, though. Like I said, weird game. They came storming back. They're knocking in threes. They're making clutch plays. And then they took the lead with under two and a half minutes to go. And they pushed that lead to four with 65 seconds left. Clutch as hell. A one-point game. The Shockers fouled Yesifu, sent him to the line, and that set up this game-ending sequence. Barely. A missed free throw into a quick run out and then a really good look at it. And it goes off the front of the rim. When the ball left his hand, it had a chance. It had more than a chance. Wichita State was this close to ripping it back. Instead, you have Drake with their first tournament win in half a century. Exactly 50 years to the date, Drake is advancing in the tourney again. Man, impressive. Really impressive. They did it without their best player, Roman Penn. They did it by getting limited minutes from another all-conference player, Tank Hemphill. And they went long stretches, as I mentioned, without scoring the ball at all. Yet they still found a way. And let me now turn it over to their head coach, Darian DeVries, to sum up the entire thing. Yeah, I sensed that we were a little bit tight when we had six points with three minutes to go in the first half. Yes, sir! He's right, though. We got to just go out fun Saturday. We just got to go out fun. Those are words to live by, coach. He's not just talking to his guys. He's talking to all of us. Y'all, wisdom and advice for life. We all just got to go have fun. And last night was fun as hell. The tournament is back and not a moment too soon. That was the first four. It's never that good. Never that good. So how'd you do on the first four? Four games into my 22 picks. And the 22 picks, I think, are now 26. Got down again this morning. I went 2-2. Two 2-2 and, two. Two and, two and should have been 4-0. Oh. But that'll happen. Yes, sir!